So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. Wait, what? Another visit to Ray's and you would have seen what Luke do to avoid jail. What? I only found eight out of nine clues. What? A slip of the tongue. Kowski. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. My wife is so dumb. She said to you for hours. I swear the more bent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe you. Well, this is starting off lovely. Fuck this. Get out my way! They're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? But Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having your death strewn all over the front pages. Can we try to get there in one piece? Sorry, yes, ma'am. That was a threat to a direct cop. I apologize. Call my captain. That's the car, Cole. Just pulling out of the drive. Get him. Remember, we need him healthy enough to answer questions. 1247, Detective Phelps requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green Kaiser Fraser from 6 West 2nd Street. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. All right, all right. Maybe I was a couple miles over the speed limit. Get bracelets on him, Phelps. Out him. of the car now. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive.
You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. And the ownership papers? Are from the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. you have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. You better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. <laughs> Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You've got to be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence and have him arranged for Grand Theft Auto. Right, detective. Do you know who my father is? Nope, we need do I Coombs don't Auto care. Check out Harrison's story. What now? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. <laughs> Paperwork all looked above board, and he seemed like a clean-cut kid. Uh-huh. Well, I get it now. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black or Hispanic, you'd be singing a different tune. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism, Stefan. Oh, God, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single-handedly won the war. Are you finished? Yes. I feel much better now. We'll shake down the car dealer and take it from there. Unless his daddy plays golf with yours, of course. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake and be on our way. See? I knew you weren't finished. <laughs> I love the quips you get in this game from your partners. <laughs> Would you watch a fucking... I'm gonna... Fucking civvy. Oh, you're a siren. Let me walk in front of the fucking cop car because I'm a dumbass. Ha 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 ha. Fucking goddamn AI civilians. Another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely. You're the second car dealership you. trying to sell to cops. I Detective don't Phelps, want any. LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coon. I remember. I know his. I know him from. It before. was a green two tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. That's a joke, too, son. Uh, Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. Can't kill him, he's an angel. And for those who don't get what I just referenced, he plays an angel, an archangel on Supernatural.
I knew the uh, guy looked familiar. There's a couple different there actors in this game. Got the original pink slip there too. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. No oh, way, I can further investigate that? Hold up, I want that back. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. Little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere but no place to go. You get to know the type. Jesus, to answer he gives me correctly, I have more. Do you know more. anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. But it is your business. These pink slips are leading us to something big, Coombs. It's time to stop being cute. I'm going to assume you're having a bad day, son. I sell cars, not paper. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Why didn't you no. pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Oh, God. I can't. Uh? What can you tell Fuck! us about? This? Somewhat on the simple side. In a big hurry, too. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. Well, Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. Relay the information. I need an address on a marquee printing company. Marquee printing company, sure. Just a 